So you like waterfalls and you like voxels. Hey guys, welcome back to Tits by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Magic of Voxel once again. Taking a look at how to create a voxel waterfall isometric cool scene going on today. So I'm going to go ahead and delete our default uh, our default cube. Wow, that is what that is. I'm going to hit delete on our keyboard and we can go on down here to uh, isometric. And then we'll just click this corner right there to, uh, to snap into focus. I'm going to go to a new palette, which is uh, three, and I'll just start creating some colors. We'll pop this bad boy open down here. Um, and I just want to go ahead and grab like a brown dirt color, maybe something something like that, maybe. Yeah, and then we'll go ahead and go to face mode and then attach. We'll just uh, tap like four or five of those layers up there like that. Sounds pretty good. Um, and I also want to go ahead and erase each one of the sides. So we can go ahead and just uh, erase each one of these edges here because I want some grass to hang over the edge so that looks pretty good so far I'm gonna go ahead and grab a actual grass color now with a new palette color up here the second uh, slot we'll grab something like uh, like that color maybe looks pretty good I guess and we'll go ahead and attach this with face select mode once again uh, one two layers up maybe and then we'll go and plop these edges on over so now they overhang a little bit which looks much nicer uh, than it did before All right so now that we got that ready, I'm going to go ahead and grab another rocky-like color. So we'll grab like a brown, not exactly the dirt color, but like a brown rocky mountain cliff, I suppose. Something like that looks pretty good. Now I'll go ahead and we'll just draw a box. We'll go to B to grab box, and then we'll just draw like a big old something like that. Maybe six across, right? Yeah. And then we will grab face select tool and just drag that up about... Uh, about there yeah looks pretty good right all right so we're looking pretty good so far I'm gonna go ahead and cut in a little uh, piece right here so we can have the actual waterfall look like ooh, no we got to go to attach uh, sorry go to erase for the box select mode here and then uh, we'll just drag this about right there maybe we'll do another layer try and get some layers going on here right maybe something like that I do not want this to be even so we'll just go ahead and just do whatever something like that maybe yeah maybe not that piece right there yeah all right that looks pretty good to me so we'll go ahead and do something like that I think on the top of this now I want to go ahead and put some grass maybe not some grass no we'll leave it no I want some grass put some grass on the top of oh no attach mode uh, on attach mode grab the gr the the green color and then just plop some right there I also want to erase the edges for this cliff as well just cuz yeah just cuz looks cool um, ex ex except for the back. I want to leave the back the way it is, but the sides and the front it will erase those edges because we don't need them. All right, looking pretty good so far. I want to also make sure that this grass is two layers tall instead of just one. And for the actual water, we'll grab a blue color, something like uh, something like that maybe. And then we'll just draw a big old box. I want to do line select mode here. Um, and we'll do ac an actual line. So we'll go all the way from the back to the front like that uh, with that line. And then we'll just go to the face select uh, tool. We'll just pull that line out and we'll pull it down that far. And we'll go to perspective now so we can move around and see what we're doing a bit easier. Um, I want to fill in the bottom of this um, by uh, tapping the face select mode once right that and then I, I want to just go ahead and get the box select tool and then just fill this in manually so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't get rid of all of this back here alright so that's pretty good so far I want to go ahead and drop this down the box select tool will drop and yeah well, I just, let's do it like that we'll just drop this down the way it is um, so I just grab face select tool and then just pull it down all the way down the mountain here um, and we'll pull it if I can get that angle down all the way and I think that looks good alright so that looks pretty good the way it is I want to go ahead and actually well, let's erase those last two ones so we can erase some of this down here for a little stream I'll go to the box select mode with erase and just get rid of a couple of these layers here maybe something like this perhaps looking good I like it um, and I also I think we also should get rid of these colors in here so we'll go to paint 
um, on the the mountain light color and we'll just do something like that yeah instead of the grass color and the same thing back here I want to make sure this is all not grassy there you go looking good I like it for the rest of the for the rest of the water we'll just fill in these layers Oop, no attach make sure you're on attach um, like that thusly yep uh, maybe I want that last layer not filled yeah all right that looks good and we'll just paint this instead so I'll get rid of the uh, grass nope uh, attach uh, I'm sorry, erase uh, uh, voxel, and we'll just erase these individual voxels there, and I'll paint the water with the face select tool right there. Awesome. Now we'll pull this water back down if I can get that angle. And uh, oh, eh, no, uh, attach and pull down. Perfect. Sweet. Um, and for this waterfall over the edge of this, I also want to uh, create the line. We'll just attach a line there, and then we'll just drop it down. From there great now we got like a double waterfall it's a double rainbow okay um, we're gonna go ahead and put in a little bit of shine for the water some old some old-school classic uh, almost almost white lines here so I'll grab the line select tool uh, go to paint mode and we'll just uh, do some falling down lines like this maybe a couple this way like that Maybe a single one right here, another single one, maybe one right there, eh, maybe not one right there, maybe one right here, yeah, yeah, alright, sweet. And then for this, I just kind of want to uh, create a, like some really crazy, we'll go to voxel mode here, and I'll go to attach, we'll turn, oh, sorry, we'll go to paint, sorry, we'll go to like four for the, for the size, and we'll just brush in some watery like stuff going on and same thing for down here as well i kind of want some foam occurring right there you know looking good i like it um and i might put some 3d can we put some 3d voxels maybe we'll go to sphere go to like uh two and we'll go to attach just put like some some foam around maybe yeah 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 i like that all right sweet cool i like it cool 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 all right maybe some up here yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Looks good. All right, and then we'll just continue these lines up here. Paint. And we'll get rid of those. Like that. And I think that's going to be uh, pretty much it. I want to have a little bit of stream lines down here. I don't want to overdo this, though, because down here is going to be a little bit more still than, you know, the actual waterfall itself. But I think that's going to be it. Yeah, yeah. I could do some grass, I could, you know, texture some other stuff, but I think this is all I want to do for the waterfall tutorial itself. Go back to isometric mode, pop that right there. It looks good. I like it. I enjoyed making it. Hope you guys enjoy I see this grass right here needs to be fixed. We'll fix that. Uh, attach. Nope, nope. Attach. There we go. All right, so that's what I wanted right there. That looks good. Hope you guys enjoyed making this really quick and easy voxel isometric waterfall with me. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then. Bye-bye.